Damn it is amazing. Okay. <clears throat> 44 minutes. Okay, so I'll probably be able to get this uh, done. Hopefully, in uh, that amount of time. <clears throat> All right, back to work. See if we can beat this thing today. First run though, I was like, "Wow, this is this ain't too bad." Oh, that was my phone. Uh, I'll just move my phone over there. <clears throat> Not a bad first run, but that was definitely a stupid death. I should have gotten farther, for sure. Actually, I should have beaten this thing by now, but you know, I'm always defeating levels late, so move my mouse. That was a dumb death. <clears throat> also, as far as the second video tonight, it will be, uh... Europa Universalis. I'm actually going to start up a uh, probably another new series on uh, Europa Universalis. It's going to be a kind of a fun one. Uh, I'm not going to do any spoilers. So, yeah. I'm not going to give away anything about it. It's just... Yeah. You'll know when it comes out. <clears throat> Let me just say, uh, I'm looking forward to it, and it's going to be a lot of rage. So, a lots of rage. It's going to be a very frustrating one, but it's going to be fun.
Okay, you can actually slide on that. I actually did not know that. But yeah, you can slide on buses as well. You can slide on most of the walls when you're in waves, so... Okay, I clicked that. What, what, what happened there? Did I just click that way too soon? That... <laughs> Alright, whatever. Do we want again? I... Definitely clicked that, but alrighty. You, game, you kind of just ruined kind of a beautiful run right there. Come on, Dark, stop dying with these parts. <clears throat> I, I shouldn't be dying, uh, dying until I'm at like 70. Like 70%. I shouldn't be dying at, at the beginning parts here. But here we are, I'm still struggling at like the first 50. Come on, Dark, this is light work. I'm getting really good at that click right there. I timed it too late. Oh, dang it, dude. That's another 78 death. I think that's like my third one. Oh my gosh, dude, that's so stupid. Dang it. That would have been a beautiful run. Actually, I probably could have even beaten... I probably could have beaten the level with that. But, you know... I was gonna go panic frenzy every time I get pa uh, get to a percentage that I died at like a couple times.
That was my best attempt in a good while, so... Starting to get consistent, finally. So I was performing like crap yesterday. Oh jeez. Like my farthest is like 50. No, my farthest is like 55 or something like that. Dude, like I didn't even get I didn't even get past the uh basically the sub uh the sub drop. I almost screwed up that ship. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, like, seriously, game? Do you hear me clicking, by the way? Like, how am I not clicking the orb? So annoying. Dark, you know how to do that part while you still die in there. We're beating this tonight. <clears throat> I'll stay here for the next two hours if I have to. I'm beating this. No, I'm beating this darn thing tonight. I've had it. I I've had enough time. So, about time I start actually putting in the work. So I need to just learn to just stop struggling and just do the level. this. Okay, that transition's a little weird. Break part. Oh gosh, I'm gonna lose my gosh darn mind. Can I just stop struggling? Like, I know how to do these parts. Like, seriously. What is it going to take for myself to actually do this? <sighs> so annoying. What is it going to take for me to do this? Like, seriously. Like, it's not that hard, Dark. 
Should have beaten this thing like two days ago. Dude, this should have only taken like a couple days. Seriously, I, I need to stop struggling at the uh, at the the ship. It's not difficult. Like you literally have to do a single click there. Here we go again. Come on, Dark. I almost died of oh, that wave, holy crap dude. Hey, don't die here. Good. I knew I was gonna choke at that part, dude. I I did that so many times on the gosh darn copy. Oh my gosh. I, I died there so many times on the copy. Gosh. That's pain. That's literally like one of the last parts of the level, dude. That's the last 16. Oh my gosh, dude. I need to just constantly tell myself that it's not that hard. Yeah, like it isn't. It isn't hard. In, re in reality, no, it isn't. Like, it it's not hard whatsoever. None of this is. Pretty much the only hard part right now is the last ball. That's it. So... And for some reason I'm having a hard time on this ship over here. It's it's isn't hard, like what's whatsoever, dude. 
I don't know why I keep failing at this. Although in my defense, that, that wave is a bit weird. Like, getting into that, yeah, that is a bit weird, but, you know. And this part's simple. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. Never mind. I, should, I, shouldn't, have, I shouldn't even said anything right there, because that... I timed that way too early, dude. I would have been a beautiful run. I literally made it past, like... Pretty much the parts where I keep dying on. Really? Really dark? <clears throat> How dare you die at the beginning? That part's easy, like, seriously. It's literally just a whole part. How have I not learned to just do that? I, or not that? What, what am I doing? What am I doing? Come on, Dark, focus. You should not be dying on that part. How have I not learned how to do that? That's so stupid. This is going to be a long night. We're not getting consistent attempts here. And the thing is, like I said, I'm beating this darn thing. I don't care if this takes me, like, two hours, three hours, even four hours. No, I'm beating this. Like, I've had enough time. I should be able to easily beat this. Yeah, I've had plenty of time. I practiced everything correctly. So I should have the skill to do this. I just gotta learn how to not die at easy parts of the levels. So... Like, it's not hard to not die at, like, easy, like, parts of a level. It's not difficult. I almost died right there. Good lord, dude. How can I stop dying at this wave? 
I've mastered this storm thing, dude. The reason why I'm not really talking a whole lot is because even while I'm focusing, I'm still struggling trying to do this. Normally I'm like chatting about random crap, so. That's what I usually do because it takes me forever to get back to where I was. Because this level is so darn long. This level is just past three minutes, so. Yeah, it's three minutes and five seconds. So it's an extremely long level. Yeah, so it takes me forever to get back to, like, at least the last drop. Are you, gonna learn, are you gonna learn how to play this game again? Like, can you just stop dying at this ship? It's not difficult. Like, you you literally practice thing, this thing like over like 200 attempts at most. Like, most of your deaths have been at this ship, so can you stop dying there, please? Getting annoying. It's embarrassing, like, dude, like, dying at the first 20 is honestly so gosh darn embarrassing with how many attempts I have on this darn, on this darn level. And how many attempts I've gotten, pa like, I have actually gotten past, like, 50. Dude, I've been getting so consistent, what's going on here? What am I doing? You're supposed to click like four times there. Ugh, good knuckle crack. Alright, let's keep going. We're not quitting. That's embarrassing. That is the first death that I've had at that on that spider. I've literally never died there. I find it kind of funny, like, as soon as I beat Platinum Adventure, I begin worse, like, worse at this crap.
Like the fact that I can't consistently, I can't consistently do this first 50. It's honestly comical at this point that I can't do the first 50 consistently. I, I keep struggling at like the first 20%. Like, come on, dude. Like, this is the easiest part of the level. Why are you dying here? Like, come on, Dark. Come on, Dark. You have work to do. You might be wondering why am I actually beating demons or whatever. It's just to improve my skill. Because as you know, I struggle really, really hard on literally my own levels. That's why I I've, I've never completed uh, flame uh, fractured flames. If you're if you're ever um, well, if you're wondering, I never have had a um, an attempt from zero to hundred um, on that level. No. So. That's why I'm doing this. Because that level is going to be like an easy demon. So. And a pretty hard one at that. And in order to do that, I need to practice. So. And how I'm going to do that is beating demons, so... Alright, Dark. Too late again. I, I timed it just too late again. That's gosh, it's like four deaths at that part. It's it's honestly painful. Gosh. Maybe I'll bring up my copy again, and or bring out my copy again, and practice the final drop again for like the like third or fourth time. I practice part that part a lot, so in reality, I should be able to do it. I should be able to do the part, but. We'll see. We'll see if I can get past at least the UFO. If I, if I can get past the UFO, I think I've got it. Because the, the rest of the drop's not too bad until, like, the fall. So. Pretty much, yeah. Like, you know, what other crap can I talk about? while I'm doing this, because now I'm actually starting to get a little bored. Um... Uh, maybe... Maybe... Eh. 
I don't know, I haven't really been doing a lot on Europa. I played as uh, Boss Rock quite a bit. Uh, it's a releasable from Shasha. It's a pretty good na uh, nation, actually. Um, although, uh, I'm at, like, a major horrible right now. I'm in, like, almost the 1500s. I keep going bankrupt. Because <coughs> I'm so dirt poor. Uh, because keep in mind, that's a Saudi Arabian nation. Pretty much all, all of them, except Hormuz, is, uh, pretty poor. Yeah, the, the richest in there is Hormuz. Um, because they have pretty much the best train of in there. Um, uh, Gulf of Aden is also quite nice, so that means Aden is also a decent nation. Uh, Yemen is also supposed to be good, too. But I'd say the best one out of all of them is Hormuz. Hormuz and maybe Najd. Uh, Najd ideas are absolutely fantastic for, like, uh, like religious play. Yeah, it, it's the perfect nation for playing like a religion, uh, like a religion game or something. So it's it's really good. I'm thinking about maybe playing that nation at some point. It's so hard though. It's got such a crappy start. So the problem with Najd is the Mamluks want to kill you. <laughs> so you really need to get a clutch alliance with um, the Ottomans. And you need to keep that alliance. So you can't really take a whole lot from the Mamluks. Um, pretty much until you take care of pretty much almost the entirety of Saudi Arabia. Like, take out all the, the small nations like, you know, Hormuz, Dawasir, uh, Shamar, uh, um, Indiza, if, if they haven't died yet, uh, Yemen, uh, Mahra. Hadramut, like all those nations, uh, the Recedes. Like, take out all those nations. And after you do that, take as much as you want from Mamluks, and you should be able to overpower uh, the Ottomans, because then the Ottomans will break the alliance. And then you, sh you should be strong enough. And if there is a uh, strong Timurids, you can also ally that too. Yeah, if there's a strong Timurids. Although that's pretty rare right now with the uh, most recent patch. I very rarely see a strong Timurids. They usually explode. In the first, like, maybe, like, 20 years of the game, usually they explode. I've actually seen a double explosion uh, Timurids. It's kind of funny. Basically, they exploded once. Um, only, I think only Chunsok Sienna and uh, Sistan broke free. And then about maybe about 10 years after that, um, <laughs> The rest of the uh, Timurid vassals broke free, and it was mega explosion. Pretty much almost fully annexed uh, Timurids. I think they were only in like two provinces. Kind of hilarious. Yeah, double exploding Timurids. And I'm like, whew, talk about bad luck. I see, if I lost Transoxiana, I could probably come back from that. Because if, if they haven't, like, allied, like, I don't know, the Ottomans or something like that, if they haven't allied anyone, like, super strong, I could totally, like, annex them. Or, like, at least box them up or something just so no one else gets them. Like, I could totally come back from that if I just annex all the other vassals. So. Yeah, I could totally come back from that, but, you yeah. know. Speaking of Transoxiana, I actually might come back to that. Uh, might start playing Transoxiana again, uh, again, because as you know, I had a really, really crappy uh, random nation run. 
basically I did get them um, in the randomations, which I was super happy about because I've been wanting to play them for a little while. Uh, they're really good. Transact Sand is really good. Um, but I had the worst luck by trying to break free from the Timurids. Um, all the vassals dropped out, and I was in three wars. And I went from a pretty good sized nation to uh, to an OPM. Yeah, because it was impossible to win. It was physically impossible because the vassals decided to, to drop out. So, and that was complete RNG, by the way. Complete RNG when that happens. Personally, I've never seen that before. And to add insult to the injury, when the Fars did it, Fars also broke free. All the other Timurid vassals stayed with them. <laughs> now, if that doesn't tell tell you that this game is uh, that that game is rigged against me, I don't know what is. I don't know what what other proof you need. Yeah, game's rigged. It's it's straight up rigged, right there. That's literal rigged. <laughs> yeah, that's legit. The the game rigged against me right there. I get all the Timurid vassals, they drop out, but when Fars does it, it does it, oh, all of them stay in. I didn't do anything different. I literally did that same thing with Fars and it was just fine. Yeah, when I played as Fars, I literally did the same thing that I did with Transoxiana, and I broke free just fine. So, speaking of reanimation, um, my mo the one I'm doing right now I think is Orissa, so I might come back to that at some point. Because the rules with uh, with that series is no. Uh, resets or saves coming or anything like that anything goes goes so and I'm about to quit this crap because I really am not getting the runs I need I can't I can't even get halfway through the level without dying so I might just do this in the morning for goodness sake because I'm not focused I'm, I've been rambling on because I'm so darn bored. Yeah, this level's actually starting to bore me now. Yeah, it's because I've, I've been playing this level for ages. I've been dying at the same darn parts. definitely gonna be doing some Europe after this and it's gonna be pretty uh I wouldn't see relaxing but it's definitely gonna be more relaxing than this crap so all right you know what last attempt I've got enough of this because I am not focused come on dark Make this a good run. Okay. Good. Half. Fifty. I, I timed that too late. You have to, um, when you actually, when you get off that platform, uh, just before you get to that orb part, you need to click immediately. Or else it will be a, a too late of a click. Jeez, still not done. Dang, this is such a long level. Like I said, three, three minutes. It's a three minute level.
Okay, well, I'm going to end off this video here. If you guys enjoyed, I've had enough of this. Um, I'll do this probably, I don't know, in the morning or something. Um, either that or during the daytime where I'm actually focused. Because I'm not focused right now. So, yeah. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video, which will be in about, I don't know, half hour or an hour or somewhere around there. And it will be uh, Europa, <laughs> Europa Universalis. So, yeah. And it will be a, a new series. So, yeah. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Very good.